Play Metroid 2. We're nearing the end now. One more epic battle left. The final... Well, I'm pretty sure it's the final mutated Metroid. Yeah, it is. It is. Too bad you don't get to point more of the level 3 guys. They were a tough fight. That wasn't very smart of me. Oh well. Here we go. 175 health. Oh, don't turn around. Don't face the wrong way. That's not smart. Going well for me. Come on, turn around. There you go. Ooh, wow, that was close. I'm less health than I have missiles left. That's not a good sign. Okay. Now. We, do, we don't have to backtrack to find a health refill. There will be one coming up in the next area. So, we're doing okay. As long as I don't die on the way there. So let's be extra cautious. Hmm, nothing left. There's nothing left till the next upgrade. I mean, mean till the next lava flow. So all the lava has been dealt with. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's go finish this. Oh, no health for me, what? How do these guys survive when everything else is dead? Good question. There it is. Whoa, oh, that was close. Yeah, not much to say now. We're I had every item for a while now. We're got a lot we have a long way to walk to get to the final boss. They make us traverse a long a long way. Just to be creepy, I guess. But it's lots of empty space. Yep. I mean, you could go back and change your guns, you could go back and reform your health, or search for any missing treasure you may have um, left behind. It's a good time to do that now, if anything is missing. Um, I'll be going straight for the health and missile recharge, of course. And we're going to need the ice beam for this. Luckily, again, we don't have to backtrack for the ice beam, because they give us one. Which is nice, we wouldn't want to walk all the way, way back. Plus, I don't think they respawn, so if you got both the ice beams already and they haven't respawned, it's kind of a good thing they give you this new one. You want, yeah, this one. That look weird, I think, slows us down quite a bit. Yeah, that's sticky stuff. Whoa. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Some of those pits send us back just to be annoying as hell. So stay out of the water at all costs. Luckily, I'm not too bad at horizontal space jumping. I don't know where all the pits are, but I think they're probably in the middle of each lake. Not that it's a lake, it's just a puddle. I mean, really. And again, more climbing and more more invisible pits. Oh, this game. I guess they want us to waste more time treasure hunting too in case we miss some stuff. Oh, 
Oops, <laughs> don't shoot, he'll screw it up. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Almost. Almost there. We even get a save point. I like to save, and what seems like a dead end. Only not really. We came up through a lake of this sticky stuff. And a huge empty cavern. <laughs> Where's our Meridia suit when we need it, right? Ah, it's easier just to crawl out of here than jump. Oh, maybe we can't. Huh, our spider ball doesn't work under this water crap. There we go. Okay, I want to go up the right side. Yeah. Um, what I mean by that is near the top, it'll be three exits, exits to this cavern uh, vertically. Uh, the right hand most one leads to the recharge that I need. Oh, damn it. But we have to master space jumping to get there. We don't want the very edge of the cavern, we want more over here somewhat. I'm glad they give us some sort of background here so we know when we're going up and when we're going down. I think I made it. Oh, barely made it. Nice. And I like how you can just touch it, touch it once, you don't have to stand on it the whole time. Well, there we go. Yay! Okay, now to go up the middle one. Aw, oh, I couldn't keep... I guess you can kind of keep... It. Oh, I should have spider balls. What am I, stupid? Oh, of course. You can spider ball along the ceiling from the, any chasm to any other one. That's obvious. There's no spikes there. What was I thinking? Oh, well. Let's do this again. Or not. Stupid. You know what? I'm just gonna do this the reliable way as opposed to the faster way, because if I screw it up, it's not really that much faster, is it? No secrets in this zone at all. No secrets. There we go. So if you space jump up to here, and then we go this way, that's the best way to do it. The music will get better soon, don't worry. Now what's up here? Any surprises for me? No, what could we possibly need the ice beam for? What possible use would an ice beam be to us? It's a good question, isn't it? Hmm. Can we get up here? No. What enemy requires us to have an ice beam to fight it? Well, I'm sure you figured that out by now if you know anything about the Metroid series. And why would a chosen statue holding ice beam be broken? Someone attacked a poor little statue? Yeah, that's the music I was looking for. Nice. Nice and spooky. What's over here? I don't remember. Wait, am I totally lost? What's going on? Okay, no surprises here. Uh-oh. Some interestingly designed floors, but no surprises. Okay, we need to get up there. What's that, an egg? An egg of what? Hmm. Creepy. What? Nine left? Nine? I thought there was only one. Now there's nine? And what's that crystal stuff? And what's in the egg? Uh-oh. This does not bode well for Samus. Eight more just appeared. 
on our scanner. Maybe their signals were so low or... I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out next time on Let's Play Metroid 2. Lobsters are signing out.